I'm Detective Chief Inspector Andy Howard of the Thames Valley Police Major Crime Unit. Eight people have today been sentenced at Oxford Crown Court in connection with the murder of 27-year-old Christopher Lamonius. Otman Lamzini, Carlos Spencer, Rashawn Stout and Connor Woodward were all convicted of murder following a trial which concluded last week. Yassine Lamzini was convicted of an alternative charge of manslaughter. Yamina Lamzini and Alal Lamzini, parents of Otman and Yassine, were each convicted of perverting the course of justice. Safon Fakir and Alfie Sims were each convicted of conspiring to pervert the course of justice. Due to Sims being 17 years old, he will be sentenced at a later date. On the 1st of June 2017, Christopher Lamonius was beaten to death by a group of men in Blackbird Leeds, Oxford. Christopher had been involved in a large-scale altercation between two groups of men. During this altercation, he was chased and forced down an alleyway where he ended up in the rear garden of a house in Jordan Road. This house was owned by Alal and Yamina Lamzini, parents of Otman and Yassine. A group which included the Lamzini brothers, as well as Carlos Spencer, Rashawn Stout and Connor Woodward, chased Christopher into the home. They then proceeded to assault him repeatedly with weapons including a machete, golf clubs and large pieces of wood. This assault continued into the garden of the property before Christopher was dragged to an alleyway where he was beaten again and left to die. Thames Valley police officers arrived at the scene and gave Christopher first aid. He was taken to hospital, but he sadly died. In the hours and days following the murder, Fakir and Sims, along with others, came up with a plan as to how to dispose of evidence that was central to the case. Yamina and Ala Lamzini provided false information to investigating officers by denying all knowledge of the incident which had occurred in their house and garden while they were both at home. In the months following the incident, our investigation resulted in a number of arrests. This has resulted in the conviction and sentencing of these nine people. I'm pleased that the jury has found them guilty of their offences. This was a lengthy and complex investigation into a death which was violent, tragic and unnecessary. Nobody deserved to suffer as Christopher did that night. He was subjected to a prolonged and brutal assault by a large group of people who fully intended to kill him. Following this, instead of doing the right thing and coming forward to talk to the police about what they knew, Alal and Yamina Lamzini lied and provided officers with false statements. Fakir and Sims worked with others to dispose of key evidence in an attempt to protect those responsible for the murder. They have all now been brought to justice and I hope that this demonstrates how thoroughly offences like this will be investigated. Christopher's family have had to listen to graphic descriptions of the horrific injuries that he suffered during this utterly brutal attack. The dignity they have shown is remarkable. I hope that they feel a sense of justice following the verdicts. Today's sentences have been possible due to the excellent work of officers and staff involved in the investigation and the work of the prosecution team and our colleagues in the Crown Prosecution Service. I also want to pay particular thanks to witnesses who provided statements and gave crucial evidence in the trial in very difficult circumstances. A number of these individuals have suffered significant impacts to their personal lives as a result of the events that they were unfortunate enough to witness that night. Their courage, determination and sense of public duty are to be commended and I personally extend my thanks and admiration to them. Thames Valley Police are absolutely committed to tackling serious violence and knife crime and bring to justice those who use it. Thank you.